Welcome everyone to another Fox Tech tutorial. This time we talk about Safari on the iPad and the topic for today is how do you delete Safari on an iPad? Well, it's a bit different because if you have a third party app on your home screen, you can just hold down on it, tap on remove app and it gives you the option to delete the app or just remove it from the home screen. Deleting is in red, meaning that it deletes it entirely from the entire iPad. However, when you have the Safari icon, you hold down on it. You can see you have the option to remove app, but when you tap on it, it, there is only one option and that is to remove it from the home screen. There is no such thing as delete it entirely from the iPad. It just always has to be there. However, there are some different ways how you can potentially remove it from the iPad. And I'm going to show it to you right now. So the way to do it is to open up the settings. And if you scroll down and find the screen time section, so you can see right here that I have the screen time set up. Everything is just right here. So you can see that it just works. However, there is content and privacy restrictions. So if I open up that, you can see that I can actually enable the content and privacy restrictions. And there are many different things which just show up in here. So you can see that I can disable some background app refresh, passcode changes, account changes, anything like that. But I can also do some things in terms of Safari. So you can see there are Bluetooth, share my location photos, but you also have allowed apps. So if you go in here, you can see all of the apps which are allowed. And if I disable Safari from the list, it doesn't mean that it's technically deleted from the iPad entirely. It's still stored in the background. But when I get back to the home screen, Safari is just nowhere to be found. You just cannot see Safari has been deleted. If you go in here and look up Safari, there is no such thing. You can see only Siri suggestions. You can find it in the App Store. However, you don't have it on you can you cannot just go through the safari you cannot find it on the home screen it's not in the app library that's how you can get it to work by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iphone apps you have to click the link down below in the description it's a hundred percent free education platform where i publish like video editing courses there is going to be the all apps explained course which is coming up it's going to explain every single app on your iphone it's going to be really cool so go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now so while it technically did not delete it it just removed it from the allowed apps technically removing it entirely from the entire ipad keep in mind that at first you should have some third-party web browser ready so you don't end up without the access to the internet so i have google chrome but you can download basically anything and this is the whole process of deleting safari on your ipad so that's about it that's how you can delete it make sure that you bring it back if you want so you can see that it didn't show up back on my dock but i can at least find it in here somewhere so it's in the utilities or i don't know it should be somewhere in here so safari and i can bring it back where it was before so that's how it works that's how you can remove and bring back safari on your ipad thank you very much for watching hope you found this video useful if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss future videos about your iphone ipad and all the things that you need thanks a lot for watching see you guys later